it's me again. I'm back with another off the shoulder dress DIY, but a pattern for this dress was requested that I made a couple years ago, so here it is. But this time I added pockets to the dress. Now let's begin. These are the pattern pieces, two pairs of the pocket, one ruffle panel and one pair of the main panel, which is the front and the back. For the prepping, make notches in the pattern. You can use a pattern notcher. Then make small snippets for the marking, which will be in the side of the dress for the pocket placement, the ruffle panel and in the pockets as well. Once you're done with that, you can search all the pieces. That will be the side of the dress and the armhole, the center back and the bottom edge of the ruffle panel and all the pocket pieces all the way around. If you don't have a searcher, then you can use this overcasting fooch, which is a very useful tool to have. I also did a top edge, which was not a plan actually, but it happened anyways. To search the corner in the pocket, fold the pocket like so, and this will give you kind of a straight edge and this will make it easier to search the raw edges. Attach the pocket on the main piece of the dress. Make sure to align the markings together. Then sew along the edge with a straight stitch. You should do exactly one centimeter or less. And once you've done that, you can top stitch the pocket. This will make sure that the pockets stay in place. Here is a close-up look. Now repeat the same step with the other side. But for this one, I pinned the pockets onto the dress just to make sure that the pockets are on the same height. If everything is fine, then you can sew the pockets onto the dress. Then sew the pieces together with the right sides on the inside. And make sure when you sew the pieces together that you pass the stitch line of the pocket. Otherwise it will show up on the outside. If you're still watching this video by the way, give it a like. You know, give it a like. And what do you prefer? Do you prefer pockets in your dresses or not? Let me know in the comments. You can see the pockets in action and of course you can press the side seam now hem the bottom edge by folding it twice right after that fold the off shoulder panel in half like so and sew the center back close Press the seam on both sides. I'm using my fingers as usual because I'm always lazy to use the iron. Then can hem the ruffle panel. At this point, I decided to remove the seam allowance in the armhole because the curve was way too sharp to hem it. I was too lazy to add a armhole facing for myself, so I just left it for what it was. The next step is to place the two pieces together like so. The right side of both pieces should be facing you. Match the markings of the ruffle panel with the top edge of the dress. Then pin it in place. Then you can sew it together. I did a half a centimeter away from the edge. My original plan was to search the raw edge in one go, but for some reason I forgot it at the beginning. So I was like, whatever, but make sure that you do it to be efficient. Fold the top edge like so, pin it into place. I'm using my measuring tape, but you can also draw a guideline. Do this all the way around the edge. Then you can press it flat with an iron. Um, and this is for the casing. Then sew the casing into place. So one centimeter away from the edge and make sure that you leave a small gap to insert the elastic. And make sure to start at this area and that will make sure that when you feed the elastic through that it doesn't get stuck in the middle part which happens by the way measure the elastic around the shoulders until it feels snug not too tight then cut the desired length off Attach the safety pin on one end of the elastic, then you can feed the elastic through the casing. Make sure that the other end of the elastic doesn't go through in the casing.
once you have reached the other side secure both ends of the elastic together with the safety pin Spread the elastic evenly in the casing if you feel that the elastic is twisted or untwisted. A hundred years later, if everything is even, just double check one more time to see if the elastic is not twisted in the casing. If everything is fine, then you can sew the end together of the elastic with a zigzag stitch. This time I'm gonna overlap it. This is how it should look like. Then change the zigzag stitch to a straight stitch on the sewing machine. Then you can close the gap. I didn't back stitch by the way, but if you want to, you can of course. And you have successfully made your own off the shoulder dress with pockets spoiler alert the next video will be another off the shoulder dress but it's going to be a t-shirt transformation so stay tuned if you are interested the link of the pattern is in the description box share the video on pinterest follow me on pinterest if you have pinterest and on instagram if you want to subscribe if you want to like the video if you want to okay bye